Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at extracting some phone numbers and fax numbers from a list just to clean it up a bit and using a few different functions to do that. So here we have a list of telephone numbers and most of them have fax numbers, some don't, and you can see that uh, there was a little inconsistency with how they space the difference between the phone number and the fax number. So what we want to do is to create a list of just phone numbers and just fax numbers. Now there is quite a bit of consistency though. You can see they all the phone numbers begin with TEL colon space and then start the number and the faxes all have FAX colon space and have the fax number there. So we're lucky enough to have that consistency. So in order to just grab the phone number we're going to do just an equals mid and mid as you saw returns the characters from the middle of a text string giving the starting position and length so what's our text string our text string is cell a2 in this case the start number is going to be character six because we have tel colon space of the first five characters so uh, the first open parentheses is going to be in character number six and the number of characters is 13 that's the length of the phone number with the dash and the uh, two parentheses I close that I hit enter pulls out the phone number nice I copy that down and all of them are in place okay now let's see how we're gonna pull out the fax number so the first thing we're gonna do is something similar we're gonna do equals mid and again, our text string is cell A2, but the start number varies because of the different spaces between the phone number and the word fax. So the start number, we're going to use find, the find function, which returns the starting point uh, within a text string. It is case sensitive, so we could have used search if all of the, the word fax was not all the same, but in this case they are, so we're going to use find. And we're going to find the text fax and within what? Well, within uh, cell A2. And in this case, um, we're going to add five characters to that because it's going to find the F in fax, which is going to be the number it would normally return. But we want to add one, two, three, four, and take it to that first parentheses. So we want to add five characters to that. And again, we want to extract 13. And we're going to hit Enter. And beautifully, it pulls out the fax number exactly. So again, the differences here are, let's um, just pull up the formulas here. Oh, sorry about that. The formula for finding the phone number was very simple, but the formula for finding the facts a little more complicated. You can see we had to use find. We had to find the word facts from what's in A2, add five characters to it, and pull out 13. So again, they're similar, but we had to add that find function plus adding the five characters to do that. So now, if we copy that down, pulls them out fine. The only problem here is there are some <clears throat> that don't have a fax number, and we don't like to have that value error in there. So what we'll do is we'll wrap this in an if error function. Go to the end, and if it's an error, we'll just put uh, double quotes which will insert a blank, enter that, copy it down, and now we have a nice space where we don't have a fax number. So using these two or several uh, functions here, the mid, if error, and find, we're able to pull out phone numbers and fax numbers from a list we have. And there you have it. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Hope you found it useful. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website excel-bytes.com and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling!